Hello, statisticians, and welcome to section 9.3, Hypothesis Test for a Population Mean, where the standard deviation of the population is unknown. Very similar to confidence intervals, where it, we had to decide, do we use the normal distribution or the T distribution? And the way we decided is we asked, do we know the population standard deviation? If we do know the population standard deviation, we can use the normal distribution. But more often, we only have the sample standard deviation and not the population. So we have to use the t-distribution instead. What's nice in Excel about the t-distribution is it's much easier to find the p-value to pay on if it's a left tail, right tail, or two tail test. Our commands are going to be very similar. We'll have three of them. We'll have equals t.dist, open a parentheses, the x-bar or mean of the sample, comma, the degrees of freedom, which is one less than the sample size, comma, and with the left tail test we have to add this true and close the parentheses. With the right tail test, we don't need that third argument of true, and we'll also add a little dot RT or a dot 2T to give us the right tail or the two tail. Let's take a look at using these in an example. It is claimed that the mean price of a gallon of gas is 282. That's our null hypothesis, so let's go ahead and put that in. That our null hypothesis is that mu is equal to 2.82. And we want to show that it is less, less than 2.82, which means if I were to graph this, 2.82 would be in the middle, and we're trying to show that it's less, we're actually doing a left tail test. We also only know information about the sample of 50 gas stations that have an average price of 277 and a standard deviation of 13 cents. We don't know the population standard deviation, so we have to use the T distribution. First, we calculate the test statistic in much the same way we did before. We'll say equals, open a parentheses. We'll take the sample mean of 2.77 and subtract the hypothesis mean of 2.82 and close a parentheses. Then we divide by the standard error. In parentheses, the standard error is the standard deviation of 0.13 divided by the square root of my sample size, which is 50. Close the parentheses on the square root, close the parentheses on the denominator, and we hit enter, we get our test statistic is negative 2.719. To get our p-value then, we'll use our left tail test equals t.dist, open a parentheses, and I'll go ahead and select my test statistic, comma, the degrees of freedom, which is one less than the sample size, 49, comma, and then we put a true at the end. And when we hit enter, we find that our p-value is 0 0.0045, which is smaller than the alpha, which allows us to reject the null hypothesis. Forgot to label the alternative here. HA is the alternative, HO is the null, which means we're rejecting that it equals 282 in favor that it is actually less than 282. My interpretation, focusing on the alternative, because we successfully rejected, we can say there is sufficient evidence to conclude that the mean price of a gallon of gas is, as the alternate says, less than $2.82. Let's try a second example. It is claimed that the mean price of a gallon of gas is 282. So we're saying mu is equal to 2.82. And for our alternative hypothesis, we want to show that it is more, greater than 2.82. Because we're going for greater, if I were to draw a picture with 2.82 in the center, we're trying to show that it is greater. We're going to be using the right tail test to calculate our p-value. First, the test statistic in much the same way is equals, open a parentheses, the sample average of 2.84 minus the hypothesized average of 2.82. We'll divide that by the standard error, also in parentheses, which is the standard deviation of 0.13, divided by the square root of the sample size, which is 50. Closing a parentheses on the square root, closing a parentheses on the denominator, we find our test statistic is 1.087857. For our p-value, it's going to be our right tail command equals 
t.dist.rt gives us the right tail. And then I just have to select the test statistic, comma, and then the degrees of freedom, which is 49, one less than the sample size. Close the parentheses and we get a p-value of 0 0.14099. Because that p-value is greater than our alpha, we are going to fail to reject the null hypothesis, which means we didn't reject that it equals 282. We failed at showing the alternative. We failed at showing it's greater than 282. The interpretation always focuses on the alternative. We can say there is not sufficient evidence, because we failed, to conclude that the mean price of a gallon of gas is as the alternative says, greater than $2.82. Let's do one more example. In this last example, we're told that it is claimed, again, the null hypothesis that the mean price is equal to 2.82, and we just want to show for the alternative hypothesis that it is different, that mu is not 282. Because we're just saying not, what we're actually dealing with is a two-tailed test. We can show that it's bigger or we can show that it's smaller. A word of caution that comes up sometimes is if my test statistic is negative, for the two-tailed test, we will always use the positive version of that in the command. So the command has to be a positive version of whatever the test statistic is. Let's see how this test statistic comes out. We'll say equals, open a parenthesis. The observed average of 2.85 minus the hypothesis average of 2.82, close parenthesis, divided by the standard error, which is the standard deviation in parentheses of 0.13, divided by the square root of the sample size, which is 50. Close the parentheses on the square root, close the parentheses on the denominator, and our test statistic is 1.63. To do our two-tailed t-test, we'll say equals t.dist.2t, open a parenthesis. We'll go ahead and select that test statistic, comma, the degrees of freedom, one less than the sample size is 49, and we end up with a p-value of 0 0.1091. Again, as a reminder, if my test statistic was negative, I would have written the positive version off to the side and used that value in the command because the two-tailed test command requires a positive input value. Now, our p-value is greater than the 0.05, so we're going to fail to reject the null hypothesis, which means we failed to show that it is, we, we tried to reject it, we didn't, we tried to show that mu was not 2.82. We failed at doing that. So we can say there is not sufficient evidence to conclude that the mean price of a gallon of gas is different than, because the alternative this time says different, $2.82. The main thing to notice about all three of these examples is the standard deviation given was always the standard deviation of the population, that sample of 50. If we don't know the population standard deviation, we have to use the t-distribution when estimating a mean.